Hi, this is Daryl Barger with Financial Health. This video is designed to help um, people understand how the GAP plan works uh, along with their normal medical insurance plan. Um, most of the time the GAP plan is used as a supplement and it would work in conjunction with your medical plan. Uh, the GAP plan we use is Transamerica. Uh, that's a separate insurance company. So many times you'll have two different cards. The GAP plan is designed to cover things such as hospitalization, surgeries, testing, uh, those types of claims. Um, most of your medical plans will have many items that are covered at 100%. Uh, some items that are covered at um, with a co-payment or at a smaller uh, uh, shared amount. Many items will then go towards your deductible or coinsurance. The GAP plan is designed to pick up those items that go toward the deductible and coinsurance. Um, you'll usually have a set hospital benefit amount with the GAP plan where you will receive that full benefit or up to that full amount if you're hospitalized. Let's say you choose a 5,000 benefit or a 2,000 benefit you would receive the 5,000 or 2,000 benefit up to that amount if you have a hospitalization. You would receive uh, a benefit up to half that amount if it's something that, that is outside the hospital. Um, the only thing that's not covered inside of a hospital would be a scenario if it's due to a mental or nervous disorder or a substance abuse. Otherwise, the, uh, the full benefit would kick in for a 24-hour stay overnight hospitalization. Um, there's a few things that aren't covered that are uh, considered outpatient procedures. Those would be things like uh, therapy, um, uh, durable medical equipment. Please see the Transamerica brochure for uh, those types of exclusions. Uh, but in general, hospital surgeries, diagnostic testing, those types of things are covered. Um, the Transamerica plan, the GAP plan, will also cover your uh, urgent care copay or ER copay if it's due to an accident. Uh, in, in that case, uh, your copayment would be picked up by the uh, insurance, the GAP insurance. Um, since you'll have two cards, you will generally, if you go in for an MRI or to the hospital, you generally want to give them your medical card, ID card, along with your GAP card. Uh, the numbers for claims would be listed on that card. The provider can call in and uh, get uh, the claim processing going for you. Um, if you forget about your GAP plan, which some people have done, uh, we can help you get that reimbursed after the fact. But that's uh, a little video on how the GAP plan is supposed to work. 